I'm never going to say that Adam's Family Reunion is my favourite Adam's Family film. In fact, it's probably my least favourite on par with the most recent animation. That just wasn't very good. However, I was surprised to see that it has 3.9 out of 10 on IMDb, which is really quite a low rating. I had expected it to be a little bit higher, so I don't rate it more than maybe 5. But it's not as bad as some people say. It was released in 1998, directed by Dave Payne, and uh, written by Rob Kirchner and Scott Sandin. And it's got a pretty decent cast, but I think the thing... The thing that stands out the most, for me personally, is that it doesn't have Angelica Huston and Christina Ricci as Morticia and Wednesday. And for me, they're the two most appealing characters. And I, you know, their faces are very clear in my mind when I picture those characters. So it's a, that casting for me, just because of my love of the other ones, makes it a bit awkward. But the narrative itself is fine. The you know, the Adams family are going in search of some of their relatives. Seeing new members of the Adams family is always going to be a really exciting thing. Who are we going to find? It's it's fine. The execution of the narrative is fine. And I have no issues with it. I think the problem is simply that... Okay, so it's not the most hilarious film ever. But I think the problem is that it's so impossible to not compare it to, for example, um, The Addams Family and Addams Family Values, which are amazing. They are so incredible. And it's hard to not look at this and go, well, that film achieved that at around the same time. How could you not achieve that level of amazingness? I don't know. But it's fine. It's fine. That's the only word I can think of to describe it. Uh, Morticia is played by Daryl Hannah, Gomez is Tim Curry, which again is is something that I would have thought would have given it a higher rating, Um, really good casting. Wednesday is Nicole, I'm going to pronounce her name incorrectly and I apologise, but Nicole Fugere, I I massively apologise. Pugsley is Jerry Messing, Um, Phil Fondacaro is Cousin 8, which makes me very happy, but you know, there's nothing wrong with the casting. If I hadn't seen the other Adams family, I'd look at this and go, yeah, well cast. Everyone seems to fit their roles. The characters are well portrayed. It's just the comparison, which is always going to be a problem when you have a film like this. Would I recommend it? Yes, if you're a fan of the Adams family, give it a go. There will be aspects of it that you enjoy, I think. If you're new to the Adams family, please don't watch it. Please do not watch it yet. Please watch the 1991 film. I believe it's 1991. Um, There are other earlier versions of The Addams Family, of course, which are very well received. The um, TV series from the 60s is something that I've only checked out in part, but I'd love to see more of that. That's apparently a good one to go with. But for my personal recommendation, the 1991 film is the best place to start. But once you're familiar with the Adams family and you love the family, give this one a go. It can't hurt too much.